I always start off to try and get the, um, the length of the plaid first. So I know that this last row of stitching is near enough going to be underneath my epaulet. But the true measure is down here where the top of the fringe, that's, that's this edge, should be level with the top of the peak at the back of the spat. I know that roughly this row of stitching here, the last stitching, the last row, is going to be in the right position for me. So I then take the other end, sliding the pleats underneath the buckle of my sword belt, or cross belt, and I wrap the plate around me, over everything, except with the exception of dress cords or aglets. And then I take that piece off, and I put this piece back on, over the top of the drum major's sash, or baldric. And then replace the long length over the top. At this point, you do the epaulet up. But this is where you would check the length again, give the thing a good tug, so that it goes as tight as possible. <clears throat> Once again, check everything is right. If you're not wearing a drum major sash, this slider here on the cross belt should go up against this edge, the bottom edge, of the piece of plaid that's wrapped around the front of you. You then take the long length, throw it over this shoulder, throw the short length back, this then gets tucked into all of the sashes and anything crossing the body and it goes through the waist belt at the back. You then throw this long length back, this is now nice and flat. You then take the first two pleats. I take this to be the front pleat and the first pleat. You pinch these two pleats together, shape the plaid around the top of the shoulder. So we take these first two pleats and we pin through the bulk of this section across the front of the body. We take the pin out horizontally through those first two uh, pleats that are pinched. If wearing a military baldric or drum major sash, all of the parts of the royal cipher should be showing. Um, so the, the plate should be shaped around that. For competition use, the long length may be tucked in for drum majors but into a sword strap if you have one. This helps when putting the mace around the back so that you don't get a handful of plate. It should never be worn like this on a serious parade.